what do all of these kids have in common? They all love the weather, that's for sure. It has been quite busy here on the sixth floor of Walker Building, but it is the end of June after all, and what does that mean for the Department of Meteorology? It's time for Weather Camp. On last week's episode of Weather or Not, Brad brought you the first installment of the camp's 14th year, Advanced Weather Camp, which was comprised of students going into 11th and 12th grades. But now we're going to take a look back at this past week, the invasion of the youngsters. This week's campers were entering grades 8 through 10 and hailed from a smattering of hometowns. The kids participated in lessons and activities as well as took tours of both the State College National Weather Service office and AccuWeather, which were all adjusted to the younger audience. I helped out with technical support while the kids filmed their very own weather broadcasts. And let me just say, I was quite impressed by the kids' enthusiasm and confidence. Since I was six years old, I've always been interested in meteorology, especially extreme weather like tornadoes. And I used to love watching storm chases with my dad, so um, that just got me even more interested. Uh, my favorite part so far at camp um, was definitely the accurate part because I have to meet so many amazing meteorologists and I'm so appreciative that they this up and produce the shows. It's getting pretty deep. Whoa, over the headlights. Oh, that guy's getting probably stopped now. We'll get something out of this. This year's camp counselors seemed to be in agreement that the younger campers were a lot different than the older ones. They knew there would be challenges, but there were reasons they took their positions. A lot of these kids uh, are really interested in the weather, mainly from a storm, but don't really know a lot about it. You get those occasional ones who happen to know a lot more than the others. But overall, uh, they're just really interested in uh, why it happens and not really knowing you know, the reasoning behind it, and that's what they came here for. Uh, as compared to last week, where a lot of the kids are looking at majoring in meteorology as a field. This week, definitely the kids are a lot more quickly excitable. If something happens, they're excited about it the second after it happens, whereas the kids last week, definitely it took them a while to get more excited. They definitely are more interactive during the sessions with Todd and Bill, um, but then on the other hand, they have a lot more energy to run off during the evenings. The opportunity arose that I was able to help younger kids try and find their love for uh, meteorology and I was able to help proliferate that last week and uh, this week. It is never an easy task to keep the attention of a group of 36 kids for a week, but when all was said and done, this week turned out to be a fun and successful one. The campers' favorite parts of the week? Oh, oh, it's, it's, just, it's just been such a great experience. And we're so glad to hear that, Bella. Even though I never attended weather camp as a camper myself, I was a counselor back in 2012, and I have to say, I think I enjoyed it just as much as the kids did. From Walker Building here at Penn State, for Whether or Not, I'm Jillian Bohenick.